Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about a much-needed hedge. I'm going to back out somewhat of a position in the NBA, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, um, I believe the best team in the NBA are the Los Angeles Clippers. I made an earlier video here where I picked the Clippers to come out of the West. Right? I just think they have too much depth, too much youth, too much defense. But the Clippers have let me down. Right? I don't know how else to put it. Um, they were up three games to one on Denver. They were up after the first quarter, their last game. Then they let the game slip away. I don't like how the Clippers have looked in the fourth quarter of these games against Denver. So I'm worried that the Clippers might trip themselves up in game seven. Denver, for the second series in a row, has come back from a three games to one deficit. Well, let me just say here, I'm going to hedge the Clipper play. They look uninspired. I still think they're the best team in the league, but that doesn't matter if they don't win. Right? So, because I'm nervous here, because I got three to one on the Clippers right, way back when, by the way, you can get three to one on the Clippers right now on the futures market. But because I have a little bit of wiggle room to deal with, I'm going to make two bets right here to hedge the risk on my Clipper play. In other words, the Clippers have me that nervous that I'm going to give back some of my expected winnings right here. The two bets are the Denver Nuggets, believe it or not, right now on the futures market, and this is the play of the day. You're getting Denver at 16 to 1. Again, 16 to 1 to win it all. Let's take a look at Denver for a moment. Understand, with the same coach, with the same two top players, Jokic and Murray, Denver finished second in the Western Conference last year. Second. We'll understand this year, with the same coach, with the same two stars, Denver finished third in the Western Conference. They're getting priced here like they're a Cinderella. Understand, against Utah in the first round, Denver closes out that series by winning the last three games. Is it possible that the market has this team badly underrated? Well, all I can say is the 16 to 1 is outrageous. They're the only team, believe it or not, among the remaining five who are going off at greater than a plus 475. And they're going off at a plus 1600 right now. Right? I believe you need to hedge the Clipper play with Denver at plus 1600. Let's add another part of the hedge. I believe you also need to hedge the Clipper play. And here you're going to throw a little bit more money because of the odds. With the Los Angeles Lakers at a plus 130. I know a plus 130 this late in the playoff seems awfully steep. But understand, Los Angeles is already in the next round of the playoffs. Right, they're already there. And you're not going to get a plus 130. 
if the Clippers beat Denver and then face the Lakers. Let's be real here, too. Folks, they're playing in a bubble. Right? They're playing in a bubble. So on a neutral court, any time you can get a team with three first picks of the draft, and they're all playing well, LeBron, AD, and Dwight Howard. I know Dwight didn't play much in the Lakers series against Houston, but look at the numbers. He's averaging about 20 minutes a game this year. He's averaging seven boards a game. In other words, he's playing half the time. He's averaging seven boards a game in half the time. And his shooting percentage is up over 70%. So the Lakers are deep. They round out the roster with people like Danny Green. Playoff vet. Ring wearer. Right? They have Rage and Rondo. In other words, they have veteran leadership at key positions with deep playoff run histories. They're not there sitting around relying on Kyle Kuzma to back up the three first picks. Right? So to me, to minimize the damage of the Clippers underachieving, of the Clippers being so cavalier that we had Lou Williams earning the nickname Lemon Pepper Lou for visiting a strip club outside the bubble, right? Because the Clippers don't seem to be playing with the level of urgency that this stage of the playoffs requires. I think you need to give back some expected winnings here and put some money on the Denver Nuggets at plus 1,600. With those odds, you don't have to put much. And I wouldn't wait. I would put a position on the Lakers at a plus 130. Right? I'll just say this, too. One of the reasons for this bet is because of three teams I've named here. The Clippers, my original play. The team I still think is the best. You want to talk about deep playoff histories, Kawhi Leonard, of course, has won multiple finals MVPs. Right? The Clippers, the Lakers, and the Nuggets, to me, might have too much firepower for whoever comes out of the East. Right? Miami or Boston. Let me say this, too. I looked at the Eastern odds and I was a bit surprised. Right? I'm on both sides of that play already. But I was a bit surprised that Boston is actually favored over Miami. Right? I'm not sure. In fact, I know there's no better big man in that series than Bam Adebayo. Right? In my opinion, he's better than all the bigs on the Boston Celtics. Let me say this too. Duncan Robinson, the way the Heat have done things is they've put together a team that has some specialists on the court. Right? I would say that Duncan Robinson is probably the best three-point shooter in that series. Right? Let's be real here. I would argue, too, that as good as Jason Tatum is, and he's excellent, right? In a short series, Jimmy Butler, to me, has a superior defense. Might be able to neutralize Jason Tatum. Let's just say, too, that certain parts of the Celtics have been inconsistent, right? We know Marcus Smart is, in, is inconsistent as it is, 
right? Always great defense. His offense is hit or miss. Well, Kemba Walker has been a bit unreliable as well of late, right? I'm surprised the Heat, given the way they have played, and let's remember, they've only lost one game in the playoffs. One, given the fact that Eric Spolstra, their head coach, is one of the best head coaches in basketball, and of course himself, has a deep playoff history. I'm surprised Boston's favored over the Heat. Right? Now, I'm not going to touch that. Right? As I've said, I've already hedged both sides of the play. I believe I have a video up here on YouTube talking about Miami at 12 to 1. Right? We hedged the Bucks play with Miami at 12 to 1. So we're looking good in that series. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Heat don't take game one. They're better rested, folks. They're more in sync. Right? They're deeper than you think. And, of course, the Heat always are well prepared physically. They finish games strongly. But as much as I like Miami, let's face it. They're going to have a hard time matching up with either L.A. team or with the Denver Nuggets. In other words, I'm expecting the Western Conference representative to have an advantage going into the NBA Finals. That's one of the reasons why I'm recommending that right now there are three teams left in the West. The casino is daring you to put a futures play on the Denver Nuggets. 16 to 1, I'll be your Huckleberry, especially since my main play is on the team they're playing, the Clippers. Right? I don't know what's going on with the Clippers. Talent for days. Depth for days. Asleep at the wheel. They were up 3 1 here. How is their series against Denver now tied? Just to understand, too, in Denver. You're looking at a team that already came back from a 3-1 deficit this year in the playoffs. And you're looking at a team in terms of rankings that's been in the top three in the Western Conference, the tough conference, the last two years. Right? In sum, I'm going to hedge my clipper bet here with... A little on Denver at plus 1,600 to win it all. And yes, with some on the Lakers at plus 130, because I don't think I'm going to get a plus 130. Should the Clippers close out Denver? That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.